Hello and welcome back to Two Sisters Art. This is Leanne and I am back with October's box. Um, this one's pretty much geared, oh, it's not geared towards drawing but it kind of is but it's kind of not. That makes no sense at all. Anywho, so you get some acrylic paint in there and you get some really cool off-white gesso and um, your tags and your paper like you get normally. Then you get a Kinder Creations stencil which is the Dapper Dan stencil um, and a holy father stuff, some charcoal and stuff. So let's see what happens today. So I'm using my tag so which is what I usually do whenever I get this, the kits um, and I'm just covering it in, I'm well, not really covering it, scraping on some of that um, gesso. So it's the off-white gesso. It's pretty much the same color as the um, manila tag so it's pretty cool. So all it's doing all I'm basically doing is I'm not changing the color of anything, I'm just adding some texture. So some parts are thick, some parts uh, are a bit thinner with the gesso. But as I said, mainly it just sort of creates some texture into it. So just drying it off. Um, in the thicker parts, it does sort of crack a little bit. But then, because you know, I'm impatient like I am, you know, it kind of wipes off in a minute anyway. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah, I should really, before I do these videos, I really should open the packaging, but I don't, and so you'll see me fumble a bit. So, I've just got out one of the, it's the Windsor and Newton, um, it's a hard dark grey charcoal. Now, it's supposed to be used for lines, but I'm just going to, you know, scrape some on there, and then I'll wet it down with the paintbrush, and then I go, what am I doing? Why am I using a paintbrush? It's easy with your finger. And this is just gonna, the grey is just gonna stick into the crevices, so it's adding a little bit of texture. And then I just flick some water on, and then I don't know why I put the, I don't, uh, anyway. So we dry it off, <laughs> and then I add a bit more in a minute. I, I really, you know, I don't know, I've got no words. Um, this whole tag took me 14 minutes to create, so simple, quick, easy. So then I just added a little bit more of that charcoal and then I was going to put the stencil down and I'm like thinking, hang on, no, my and more, there was, I think it's Mar 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 oh, can't. Marabou art crayons. Do you know what it looks like? It looks like, it looks like lipstick, but anyway. So what I've done is just put some on the page there and I've just got some, I'm just dipping my finger in water, that's all I'm doing, and smushing it out so it's sort of watercolorish type look to the background. Again, you'll see, you'll, it's hard to see in the videos, I really should do them closer. But I kind of, if I feel like if I do them like really close, then you miss out on some of the process. But anyway, so note to self, next time do them closer. Okay, so just drying it off again. And it's got some great texture, and then I'm thinking now, because with this stencil, it's a mask and a stencil. And I'm going, hmm. Do I rip it out? Which way do I want to use? And there is a little line around it. So I'm like, hang on, I might just use the outline. So I've used it, just put it across to one side because I didn't want it taking up the whole room. And then I've just got some black in that impasto acrylic. So it's a structured paint, so it is really good for palette knives and stuff like that. But for me, I just got a sponge out and just smooshed it into the it's just a fine little crack going around the outside. So yeah, I go back and forth a few times because it is such a fine little crack. Um, and I don't want a lot of paint in there, I just I just want the outline, basically. And guys, this is a, a really fun, really super quick, quick tag. And it's really, really effective. So then I've just got, it's just my makeup sponge. And yes, I reuse it, so I chop little bits off in the end each time. I've just got whatever's left on the sponge, and I'm just rubbing it all over the um, cut, the tag. Again, it's hard to see now, but there is a lot of texture happening in there as well. So then I was going to add another layer of paint, and then I'm like, hang on, this crayon's like awesome. So I just got the crayon out again. Same thing, just you know, drew some on there, um, and then got some water and smushed it around. Just keep working it up until you're happy. And did you notice that I didn't go like super close to the edge of that? It's because, you know, didn't want to have to deal with mistakes, quite frankly. 
So now let's dry it off. And then in there also we get one a 6B carbon pencil, which is a real... Oh. I'd like to say it's soft, but it's kind of not soft, but it's pretty dark. Oh, I don't know. Give it a go. <laughs> so I just did some Islamic writing or just scribbling on there. Just to add, a, add again, adding up, building some more texture to it. And then I've got out, um, this is one of the Tim Holtz, I think it's the Snarky set. And I got this in an, a previous sampler box. So everything that I've used is from a sampler box. So this is the only thing that wasn't involved in this actual sampler box. But, you know, it's pretty cool. Oh, no, not everything. I used a recycled baby wipe at the end. So, you know, pretty much everything. So I'm just adding my quote in. You know me, I don't like straight lines with my quotes. And then I'm going, okay, pretty much done. Now I just need something for the tag. So that's my pile of coloured baby wipes that I've got from when I've been cleaning my desk and they look pretty cool. So then I staple, well, go to staple. And of course, there's only one staple in my stapler. I'll tell you what, today wasn't my day. And then I just heat the baby wipe because it sort of shrinks it and just, I don't know, sets it. And it makes it look cool. So here are some close-ups. So I will be back with another bit from the sampler box. But have a go. I mean, this is pretty cool. So thanks guys, till next time, bye.